All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is the age old question. Which deck is better? Nine Inquisitors and Cold Mage or four Inquisitors with Bombardier? Which deck is better? This is the age old question. Everyone wants to know this. Everyone knows, wants to know this. And GGK in this starts by giving me the finger. He gives me the finger. Oh my gosh. At least start with giving me the finger. When they go low, we go high. So we'll tilt our brim. When they go low, we go high. Show time, just an update after this game. Mist is next and I see streams after Mist. All right, cool, cool. Good job. Good job, Special K. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for uh, moderating the chat. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Bloodborne? I haven't played Blood Bloodborne. I haven't. All right, so we'll go for four in a second. I think we can go for four now. Get some power first, just in case, just in case. Go for four. That was easy. That was easy. We don't really like the placements. All right, now we like those placements. Oh, this is cool. This is weird. I gotta take that out. This is a, a great setup. It's a great setup. You gotta talk to you gotta talk to um special K. He's gonna um let you know the turns. He's moderating all that. See my opponent already has uh nine inquisitors. And I have four, but the thing about my four is that they're going to be touching. Let's do that. Let's make sure they're going to be touching in quiz um, hexes. So they're going to be, be more powerful. We actually killed our boss first before his it was neg negligible, but still first. Is it missed? I think it's M I S T. I think it's M I S T. I'll find it for you when the, when the, um, when the stream is over. But, but that's not the game that I'm going to get into. I'm definitely not going to get into it, but it's super expensive to get into just like the heads up. But it's amazing if you want to make money while playing games. I think game hasn't been released yet. I will copy here. All right, so let's do this. We got Bedlam coming, so let's make sure we power up our Inquisitors to max level. Yeah, just curious. Look, all right, cool. So I'll link you. I'll link you the videos. I'll link you videos. It's missed. But if you want to get into games that um that you can make money while playing, let me know. Because that's what I do in my free time, which is hardly ever. That's what I attempt to do. They're called um blockchain games or in games that have NFTs in them, non fungible tokens. Which means you can you can buy and sell your 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 assets you have in the game. So for example, I have this Inquisitor. I could uh, I can sell you my Inquisitor because my Inquisitor is level nine. My Inquisitor is different from everybody else's Inquisitor, but I can sell you the Inquisitor in the game using um cryptocurrency. Just in mind, I only got Boreas. All right, Miss. Well, I'll play Boreas with you. I'll match up. I'll match up. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three. We spam. And we're gonna beat our our boss before our opponent. But my opponent likes the flips because he has summoner, so it's kind of uh interesting. It's kind of interesting. But he gains an advantage for Bedlam. So make no mistake, he gained an advantage from this Bedlam. Even though Bedlam flipped him a couple times, he played the game to get flipped so he can copy his summoners and merge his summoners. So that gives him higher tiers. That's what this deck has advantage over my deck. His deck loves Bedlam. See, look at this. He's going to copy and he's going to put that mime into that summoner. He's going to go ham. 
See how high tier the high tier he got? See the advantage he just gained? He has a tier four. So I gotta make sure my my cards are near a hex. I got I got the quality merges. He has the quantity of merges. It's gonna, it's gonna be a rough one for us. It's going to be a rough one for us. We gotta we gotta try to get some dryads. We got one dry, but maybe a harlequin with it. Dude, that's the worst thing that could happen. We get another uh, one of those. I'm assuming we go here and here. And four hexes. I mean, four inquisitors still doing damage. Still doing damage. We have to use our ability as soon as my Mandalord stops being stunned. Then we use it. Of course we of course we get lag at, at the weirdest time he has nine inquisitors but my four inquisitors still do more damage because they're next to hexes which is which still blows my mind to this day it blows my mind to this day but four inquisitors do more damage than nine inquisitors because my four inquisitors are touching a hex which is weird puppeteer is coming up puppeteer is coming up so i'm going to have to Use my mana in a second. After we kill it. Puppeteer move me, but everything is still touching. Just move me back. Don't move me anywhere crazy. Just move me back. All right. So I'm going to use my mana. All right. This looks good. If I can do this and I can do that. We can go big brain. We go big brain. And I can make this one a tier three, this one a tier three, and which is the best hex to make a tier three? Probably this one because it's touching two. Boom. And I don't know if we want to touch the board anymore, right? Yes, it will be nice for this to be a tier three hex. Yes, it'll be nice for this to be a tier three hex. But I won't. I don't want to mess up because I don't have a lot of room. Um, let's see what happens. Another puppeteer. He has nine inquisitors. I only have four. Let's see if we make her do this round. Let's see. Let's see. And it's not like he has nine normal, normal inquisitors. One of his inquisitors is tier four. One of mine is tier four, but he has nine. That is unstoppable late game, late game waves. Good luck. Let's see. Let's see, double A. Let's see. So we got this here. I'm, do I use my ability? I don't even think I need to use it. I don't think I need to use it. He's not pointing at me anymore. GGK and that's not pointing me anymore. He gave me a, a, a round of applause. So guys, four inquisitors out of the nine hexes. Who knew? Who knew? So people say that my deck is a small brain deck and his deck is a big brain deck because his deck goes to nine and my deck goes to four. Shout out to Superman, AKA Clark Kent. But that's the end of this YouTube video. Showtime. If you want to sink big ships, you got to go where the water is deep and rush for is not just a game. It's a lifestyle. This is showtime signing off. Peace rushers. So yeah, guys, so hex doesn't need a nerf. I don't think so. Um, do I think the devs will nerf hex? Yes, because they seem to nerf everything that works. They nerf grindstone into the ground. Hex is probably next. Um, they want the games to be shorter. They want Bandalore to shine even more. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna nerf hex. Do I want them to? No. Um in Quiz Cold Mage, people swear by this deck. Um, it's definitely a tier one deck. I like my deck as a tier one. Also, some people actually substitute Cold Mage for Bombardier in this deck. You know, I prefer Bombardier. The reason why Bombardier makes sure I get to the late game. However, Cold Mage would ensure that you win the late game. So Bombardier helps you get to the late game because the bosses get stunned. They don't get to proc their abilities. Um, Cold Mage, they're going to proc their abilities, so you might have a hard time. But once you do get to the late game, Cold Mage can carry because you can win by the slow. All right, guys. Peace. Make sure you like the video. Like, like the video. Comment. All that good stuff. All right. So let me clip that. Let me clip that. That's going on YouTube.